Hey everybody, good to see you. I'm Nate Eaton in our uh, studio right now. I uh, just got some documents in the Lori Vallow case, which are, are kind of interesting. Her defense attorneys have filed a motion asking that cameras be banned from the courtroom. This all stems from the hearing a few weeks ago, you might remember on August 16th when Lori Vallow appeared with her attorneys and they were discussing uh, whether the case needs to go back to the grand jury to clarify some language in the charging documents. Now, at the time of that hearing, court TV was the pool camera, meaning the judge didn't want 30 cameras from 30 different media agencies in the courtroom. So uh, the media decided, or court TV uh, was uh, appointed, I guess, not appointed, asked to be the pool camera, meaning we could all be plugged into their system and whoever wanted the feed could then share it, which is how we shared it on eastidahonews.com. So in this motion filed today, or filed yesterday actually, uh, Jim um, Archibald and John Thomas, her attorneys, asked that cameras be banned. They said on August 16th, unbeknownst to defense counsel, Court TV and or another media outlet set up a remote camera a few feet in front of the defendant's desk and put microphones on the defendant's desk. The camera zoomed in repeatedly on the defendant while she was listening to the arguments of counsel and while she was trying to converse with her counsel. It is unknown if any conversations between the defendant and her lawyers were recorded. The zoom in on the defendant's face was so close that the obvious intent of the filming was not to listen to the arguments of counsel, but to gauge every facial expression of the defendant or her lawyers. A zoom in on the defendant's ring finger was even highlighted in the media. If notes would have been written between defendant and her lawyers, the zoom in feature of the camera could have recorded the notes, a clear violation of attorney client privilege. So let me explain the setup. There was a camera, a remote camera in front of the defense's table. There was also another camera in the jury box. East Idaho News also had a still camera in the jury box, a, a, a photographer taking still images. Court TV would switch between the two cameras. This was all okayed by the judge, just so you're aware. There was an order that came down with courtroom decorum. Uh, we followed that order. The other media followed that order. Uh, but the defense attorney uh, apparently did not know that that camera was right in front of them. And they're arguing that the camera could have zoomed in and recorded notes or that the microphones that were installed on the table could have been broadcasted. We reviewed all the footage. We didn't see any zoom-ins on notes and we didn't see any confidential conversations that were delayed. J just, you know, from an observer standpoint. So uh, in the motion... The defense attorneys go on to say the court has the discretion to limit media activity, which only serves to sensationalize the proceedings and which converts the courtroom into a circus. If it appears that any audio or visual coverage is interfering in any way with the proper administration of justice, the court must stop it. In the United States federal courts, cameras are not allowed in the courtroom for this very reason. There is a long argument to be made about cameras in courtrooms. It's been happening forever. Um, and it is true that the federal courts don't have it in there. But the defense attorney is saying, no, there shouldn't be in there because they are, uh, you know, monitoring her every single Facebook, every single face look. Defense counsel would ask that since the media has abused their privilege to photograph and record the proceedings in a fair and reasonable manner, that cameras be banned from the courtroom. Alternatively, still camera photos with no zoom features from the jury box or from the front row of the spectator section may be acceptable. And then her attorneys asked the judge to hold a hearing about this issue. Now, this isn't the first time in this case that attorneys have asked for no cameras. You might recall in 2020, Rob Wood, the prosecutor, asked that cameras be banned from the courtroom. This was before a different judge, Judge Eddins. And Eddins, uh, the media, we actually hired an attorney that represented all of us. We fought this motion to have cameras banned, and Judge Eddins ended up allowing cameras in. We will likely do the same for this motion. We will hire an attorney, East Idaho News. Other media will hopefully join us. Uh, we should fight this motion. We believe that the public has a right to see what is happening in the courtrooms uh, and that you have a right to witness it, regardless of the hearing, regardless of who it is or what it is, uh, that we believe that you have the right to that. So this is an interesting development. Again, if you're just tuning in, 
Uh, Lori Vallow's defense attorneys have filed a four-page motion asking that the judge ban cameras from the courtroom. They're saying that during the hearing a few weeks ago, they were unaware that a camera was right in front of them uh, filming Lori and showing her up close. Uh, they say that the media abused our right to photograph and record the proceedings. They are saying that because of that, they should, there should be, if, if cameras are allowed, it should be one camera take, taking still photos from the jury box or the front row. Uh, this will be held, a hearing will be held to discuss the matter, and um, that's, that's the latest. So we're about to publish a story about this, detailing it, uh, and well, I'd love to know your thoughts. You think cameras should be in? You think they should be out? Obviously, you know my feelings. I believe that the more you can show, the better, and that the media also has a responsibility to be responsible. I did work with Court TV during this, and I did not see any violation of any rules. Again, the judge set out rules and orders for the media to follow. The court was aware that there was going to be two cameras in there, one in the jury box and one in front of Lori. The judge did not say no to that. Uh, as far as I know, I mean, they did it, Court TV did it, and nobody raised anything, and all the media took it. So that's another chapter in this story, and we will continue to follow it. As I said, we will have cameras in the courtroom when this hearing is held so that you all can watch it and that you all can see what the judge decides and if cameras will be banned or not. You know, some state, it depends on the state. It actually depends on the judge. Where I used to work in Virginia, we never got a camera in the courtroom, but Idaho has been very uh, open as far as letting cameras in. And I think that helps with transparency. So there's my update for you. And we will do that. Um, somebody made a point about what about showing the jury? We, we wouldn't show the jurors. We will follow whatever the judge rules. I once had a judge that said you can't show the court clerks because of threats or the recorder or the jury. And that's what we followed. We followed that rule and we'll follow it because we know that if we don't, we're not going to have a camera in there. So uh, most responsible media should follow that. And we will too. Um, we'll post the story, as I said, on eastidahonews.com here in the next five minutes or so. I'll put a link up above. Thank you all for watching.